Hey guys, this week I'm going to recreate this. Let's get started. Hey guys, before I start, my name's Ob and I post videos every Monday at 12pm. I'm not sure if I've got the timings right, but they should be on the screen for your different time zones. With my videos, I hope to inspire you to go out on your own creative journey. So hit the subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss a video. One thing you will notice is I'm kind of showing my face. I'm not really comfortable with it, so let me know what you think. Let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new comp. I'm using 1920 by 1080p, 24 frames per second, and I'm going to make it 10 seconds long and hit OK. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm a huge fan of marble, so this is one of my favorite tutorials. But for this tutorial, as you can see on the screen, I'm placing in the audio, but you don't have to do this. For this tutorial, you'll roughly need 50, 50 marble related images. I simply Googled it and copied them across, which is why the quality isn't that good. Once you have these images, you'll need to rename them in sequence order. So from one to whatever number, I have 60. Then when you input them into After Effects, click on picture one and make sure you tick this sequence button here and hit OK. It will then load your images in sequence order, making it look like a video. Now, if you drag and drop this into the comp layer, you'll notice two things. One, as they're not the best quality, the image is too small and will need to be scaled up, which is not too bad for this tutorial, but not when you're creating it. And two, the sequence is too short. To fix this, delete this layer and go back to this image sequence in the project file and right click and click on interpret footage. This should bring up a pop-up window. Change the assumption frame rate to 10 or lower. This basically means it will only show this amount of images a second. Then at the bottom, change the loop value to five. This will loop the images five times and hit okay. From here, place this sequence back into the comp. You'll notice now it's longer than we need, but don't worry. Next, let's bring in the red color. Right click and create a new solid. Don't worry about the color and hit OK. In the effects and presets panel, type gradient ramp and drag and drop this onto the solid. On the top color, choose a light red and on the bottom color, choose a dark red. This is something I did wrong and I did it the wrong way around. Then grab the point at the top and center it. And then grab the point at the bottom and move it to the left around here. Okay, I'm going to rename this solid as background and move it under the image. From here, change the image layer blend mode to multiply. And this will blend both layers together. So we get that nice marble red color. Okay, now I want the images to start disappearing from five seconds and by seven seconds it should have gone. Go to five seconds and hit T on the keyboard for the opacity and click on the stopwatch to keyframe it. Move to eight seconds and change the opacity to zero. Okay, let's add a paper texture. Import a file that you can get from the internet and place this onto the comp above everything and change its blend mode to multiply as well. For this, you'll need to match the same fade out of the images by hitting the keyframes at five seconds and eight seconds. Final thing here is to add the logo. Import this and place this into the comp at right at the top. Right click on this and select pre-comp and make sure you on move all attributes and hit OK. Go to the effects and presets panel and this time type gradient wipe and add this to the pre-comp. Then move the playhead to three seconds and then change the gradient wipe transition completion to 100%, then the transition softness to 20%, and select the gradient layer to the image layer, and make sure the gradient placement is selected as stretch gradient to fit. Once you've done all that, click on the stopwatch button for the transition completion, and in the timeline, move four seconds in and change the transition value to zero. 
It's starting to get there, but I want the images to appear in colour on the logo before they disappear. So in the comp, select the logo and image layers and duplicate them. Then move the duplicates to the top and change the blend modes back to normal. Now in the duplicate image layer, I had to say that slowly, change the track mat to alpha mat. Also move this layer a few frames to the left so that the timing is a little bit different to the images in the back. Finally place the original logo pre-comp layer right to the top. Okay, it's working really well but I want to add some animation. In the top original logo pre-comp, open the gradient wipe and bring the transition completion keyframes closer together. Select all but the background layer and turn them into 3D by clicking here. Select only the logo layers and hit P for position on the keyboard and change the position, change the last position number to minus 500 as this will create some depth. Now right click and import a camera. I'm choosing 35 millimeters and hitting OK. Move the playhead to the end of the sequence and hit P on the camera layer and turn the stopwatch on. Then hit R for rotation and click on the stopwatch for Z position. Move the playhead to the beginning of the timeline and change the, change the Z rotation to 30 degrees. Because of this rotation, you might need to scale up the images. To do that, bring up position and change the last value. I didn't need to do that. Okay, looking at this, I don't really want the rotation to last this long. So I'm going to move the last keyframe in to around roughly six seconds. Last thing I need to do is easy ease the keyframes. Highlight all the layers and hit U on the keyboard. This will bring, out, this will bring up all the keyframes. Highlight all these keyframes and right click and select Easy Ease. And you're done. If you stayed this long, hit a like in the video to let me know. I really enjoyed this week's tutorial as I'm a huge Marvels fan. So let me know in the comments below which film you like the most. As always, thanks for everything guys and stay inspired.